Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, straight from my London Airbnb. I thought this backdrop was actually pretty cool, nice and simple for me to be able to film while I'm here. So we're just gonna roll with it. Um, my name is Yaramel, in case you're new here. And in this video, I'm just gonna share with you some of my London essentials. So I'm just gonna go through a bit of my beauty essentials, skincare essentials, makeup essentials. And later on, I'm also gonna talk about some wardrobe essentials for this winter time that I'm enjoying right now so starting off with beauty essentials the most important thing I need to have when I'm in cold weather is a lip balm so this time I decided to get the Burt's Bees moisturizing lip balm in the flavor honey I decided to pick this one up because obviously the price is really good this one was 299 pounds but also because it's organic right it claims to be a hundred percent natural which is something that I tend to look for on my beauty products now beauty skincare this one has so many reviews on Amazon and I was like what is so special about this lip balm and I think I understand why it really does the job at moisturizing my lips. Uh, I bought this as soon as I got here and I didn't feel the need to buy a different lip balm whatsoever. It does the job at keeping my lips moisturized and yeah, it's not an exciting lip balm. The texture is not exciting. When it goes on, it's not exciting. It doesn't just slide. I feel like it's a bit dry. Usually you do one swipe, but I think I have to do around five. One, two, three, four, five. The good thing is that after those five swipes, my lips do feel moisturized for two to three hours. My next essential is my body moisturizer, which is by this Mozambican brand called Mutiana Orera. It's literally the brand of a friend of mine and one thing that I love doing right now is supporting Mozambican entrepreneurs, especially female entrepreneurs because they are literally coming out with all of these um, cosmetics that are all natural and I just appreciate it so much. I love, 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 love um, supporting small businesses that make organic stuff. So I decided to bring this one because I was using it back home and I was like, you know what, this is sheer butter based and I think it's the perfect thing to have during winter. It has sheer butter and like vegetable oils essential oils and so on so I thought be, this would be really cool this is not something that you can find outside from Mozambique because my friend doesn't ship this yet it's a small business but I thought I'll just mention how cool it is to have you know natural body butters and so on and to support small businesses whenever you can my next essential is this skin doctors ingrown go which is an ingrown hair lotion. It came in this box right here. I ordered it from Amazon as soon as I got here because I did a full on wax before I came here because you know. <laughs> so I've been dealing with ingrown hairs for the longest I can remember and like really bad ingrown hairs. The ones that create carbuncles and bubbles and horrible pimples so I feel like last time I had a horrible ingrown hair was two months ago and I told myself I don't want this to happen anymore like I don't want to have this again and I want to be able to wax and still have a healthy skin down there and not have to go through the pain and all the pus of ingrown hair so I did my research and I realized that the same way you can chemically exfoliate your face you can chemically exfoliate the skin down there in order to allow the hairs to grow smoothly without trapping themselves onto your skin and giving you ingrown hairs. Yeah, I was just wanted something easy that I could just swipe, swipe, and then that's it, you know? So I've been using this every night just because I did a full-on wax and I don't want to run any risk of an ingrown hair appearing overnight. But I'm pretty sure that as soon as the hair starts growing out, I won't be using it every night. I'll be using like maybe every other night. So yeah, I feel like this is really important. I hope this keeps me ingrown hair free for the next few months. And yeah, if you don't have access to this, one thing that you can do is use your basic salicylic acid down there. You can use your glycolic acid down there. I was doing that. It got to a point where I was like, all right, I don't want to be wasting my ordinary glycolic acid down there. I'd rather have something that is proper 
for that area so that's why I picked up this one and yeah I'm really pleased with it so far no ingrown hairs I'm fresh 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 and that makes me really happy <laughs> I started oil cleansing back home because I just wanted to give it a try my skin has been going through some shit because of the birth control pill because of coming out of the birth control pill and I actually did a video on that but I never posted it maybe I'll post it in the future or I'll give you guys a skin update when I show you guys my winter skincare routine so I decided that I was going to be oil cleansing for this trip and the oil that I brought to cleanse my skin was the Timeless Squalane oil, it's pure Squalane oil and it works amazing. I couldn't imagine myself being here on this dry weather with a face wash and you know putting all that water. I feel like using oil cleansing has allowed me to just not dry my skin ever so I'm really pleased with that. Also for skincare. I picked up the Garnier Micellar Water for sensitive skin because I just love this stuff to remove makeup, especially eye makeup. This is gonna last me a long time because although I use this all over my face, a little goes a long way. So yeah, I'm glad I picked this one up and it's for sensitive skin because that's how my skin is right now, very sensitive. So this is definitely an essential, not just for my winter holiday, but for always. When it comes to moisturizing my face, I decided that I was going to also try moisturizing with oils, which means I'm not really moisturizing, I'm just retaining the moisture. So I've been using Rosa Hip Oil for that matter, and I've been loving using this here. It acts as a nice base for my makeup as well, so yeah, I'm really pleased with it and I'll be able to talk more about this and all my skincare stuff on my winter skincare video that's gonna be up soon. Lastly for my face, I brought my Sun Price Attitude SPF 50 plus because you need sunscreen every day and I'm on that vibe now and I'm really proud of myself because I've been taking sunscreen seriously crazily enough this sunscreen also acts as an amazing base for my makeup it literally keeps my eyebrows in place and I'm like wow I'm in love now on to the makeup department I brought my favorite foundation actually I repurchased my NYX total drop control foundation I do feel like I want to try a new foundation I really want to try the Fenty hydrating foundation but my bank account doesn't want to try none of that so I need to respect it so <laughs> I had to go back to my budget go to NYX Total Drop Control it does the job it gives me a nice finish it photographs super well so I'm not mad at that I'm gonna be using this bottle until I'm done with it and then hopefully I'll be able to try a new foundation because it's been a while now next up for makeup are these five lipsticks from MAC so these colors I picked up from my sister's collection and are the darkest colors that I could find because I was like alright I'm gonna go on a winter holiday I need to wear dark and moody lips so I need to pick up some of those I decided to bring Diva, Film Noir, Antique Velvet, Rebel and Amplified and hopefully I'll be able to incorporate these lipsticks on my lookbook outfits because I'm just not that person that would wear a dark lipstick just to go out, you know, on a normal day. I just feel... I don't know, I just like my nudes, I just like being basic, basically. I'm not a basic bitch, but I like being basic, especially when it comes to my lip color. So, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to incorporate these on some photo shoots, on some outfit of the days, on my Instagram and on my lookbooks for sure. But yeah, I decided to bring them just to try to wear them, and I haven't been wearing them because I got a new nude lipstick which is life-changing for me. This is Verve by MAC and I got this lipstick for free, you know why. Before I traveled I realized I had an empty blush and an empty eyeshadow package from MAC. And I was like, wait, let me just check if my sister has more empties and fair enough, she had four of them. So I decided to bring the six empties to the MAC store in Soho. I was adamant that I wanted to get the touch lipstick because I saw it, it was so beautiful and I still want to get it. But he was like, oh my god, I'm really sorry, there's no more touch, it's like sold out. And I was like, oh. So I went for the second best, which was Verve, which turned out to be such a beautiful color that I can literally wear even when I'm not wearing makeup. It's what I'm wearing right now, it's what I'm gonna be wearing a lot on my photos, on my videos, because it just works. So I'm really glad I brought the empties here, really glad I took them to the store, really glad they didn't have the touch lipstick because 
I got to meet Verve, which is my new baby love. It doesn't go without saying that the Max Empties promotion is really, really good. I think it's really nice for them to encourage people to recycle the packaging and get something free in return. I feel like more brands should do that in order to make things a bit more sustainable because we need it. And yeah. Now, when it comes to my wardrobe essentials, my first essential is definitely this knitwear that I picked up on a vintage shop. I picked this up for three pounds. And I remember I had this same sweater before that I paid full price in the store, which I'm not gonna mention, it doesn't matter. So I went to the charity shop and I picked this up for three pounds and I was like, yes, yes, yes. Another sweater that I picked up from a charity shop was this brown knit which is really thin but it's really really warm and I cannot wait to wear this one with my golden jewelry it's just gonna look so good so yeah this one was also three pounds from a vintage shop charity shop whatever you want to call it here they call them charity shops but it's a thrift store basically other than that I also have a white knit that I'm gonna borrow from Natalie so you will be seeing me wearing a white knit in one of my lookbooks as well as on my Instagram outfits when it comes to shoes I showed you guys all my shoes on my packing with me video so the one thing that was missing was a pair of high heel booties which I decided that I'm not gonna buy I'm just gonna borrow from Natalie as well so that I can do the lookbook and the photos because to be honest whilst I'm here I don't see myself wearing high heeled booties anywhere. I live so far to the central London that I can only wear sneakers to keep myself comfortable because I walk a lot. So I'm just gonna wear sneakers while I'm here on a day-to-day -day basis. And when it's time to create content to inspire you guys, that's when I'm gonna pop in some heeled boots because I know many of you have them and could use some inspiration on how to style and so on. Same thing with my black coat. I wanted to pick up a black coat, but it really doesn't make sense for me to spend money on a black coat when I'm literally going home, which is 40 degrees you know and not only that the coat is also really heavy so that would be a lot of extra weight on my luggage when going back home I decided that I'm gonna borrow from Natalie as well like Natalie is like the hero of this trip okay so I can't wait for you guys to meet her on our video together and that's basically it when it comes to all my London essentials so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're going on a winter holiday soon I hope this video was inspiring to you in some way don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell because you guessed it I'll be bringing you guys a lot a lot a lot of London content Content. style content lifestyle content that's what I came here to create so you don't want to miss that subscribe so that I can see you soon thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one Mwah.